Logic gives me lots of instruments to choose from. But what if I wanted to make my own instrument? What if I wanted to add sounds and effects and bits of audio and create my own instrument? And how could I trigger them off of the piano? So that is uh, what's called a sampler instrument. And Logic gives you a really great sampler instrument. Uh, the first thing we want to do is take a look at this sampler instrument. So uh, I'm going to add a software instrument here. And although I could choose the actual instrument that I wanted here in the media window, I'm going to close that up. I'm going to look at the channel strip here, because that's where I'm going to find this sampler instrument called the EXS24. Now I'm going to click and hold on this gray bar called IO, and a lot of stuff is revealed. And we could talk about this, but I want to go right to the EXS24 sampler. And since we have two ears, I'm going to choose stereo, and I'm going to open this up. I want to show you what this uh, instrument looks like. Uh, unlike some of the other plugins you may have used where you could pull down this window here and have some preset choices, the preset choices in the EXS sampler are in this window right here. And you're going to see that there are a lot of pianos, and a lot of pianos that you're familiar with. So this Steinway piano, for instance, will come up. And I just want to close this out for now. And there's the Steinway piano as it's accessed through the EXS24. Now if I added another instrument and I went to acoustic piano and said Steinway piano, um, one of them would come up and PS, guess what? It's part of the EXS24. It just looks a little different here. Probably uh, a little slightly different instrument. So the EXS24 is a sampler instrument. Let's take a look at it. So what I'm going to do is go back to the I.O. EXS24 and double click and here it comes. Now what's going on in here that it's got a piano sound? And I know that there's a lot of slides and dials and stuff here. You can certainly play with that another time, but let's just concentrate on the basics. So if I hit the edit button, what gets revealed is this instrument editor. Because really, when you're playing the, the Steinway piano, what someone has done is recorded a little snippet of audio off a Steinway piano. Someone sat in a room with a Steinway piano and a microphone, and someone played the note A1 on this key here, and triggered that sound, played it, recorded it, and loaded it into this sampler instrument and you get all of these sounds here. And it's pretty complex to build an instrument as complex as a grand piano, uh, but we're going to just build a very simple instrument. This will give you a great idea of, of what it takes to build an entire instrument like a piano. So we can create our own instrument, just like the piano was created. What I'm going to do is click on the EXS24. Let's see if I can get this here. And let's go to New Instrument. Now, if I had a blank uh, channel strip here, I could also get. Let's let's try by adding a new instrument, software instrument, create. And I need my inspector. And here we go. I don't need that little real estate. And now I could go to the EXS24 and I would still get Edit. And here's my new instrument. Okay, so now what I want to do is get some samples and load this up right into this instrument. That's the next video.